My name is Connor AKTRG and welcome back to another video. So, at the minute I'm going to go to Argos to get a tripod to help film this video and I'm also going to go get my car washed because I went to Scarborough yesterday and the front of it is just covered in bugs and I'm guessing you don't want to see dead bugs. So, I'll go to Argos, get this tripod and find somewhere to do my splitter and then I'll uh, catch up with you then. Right so I've finally got my uh, tripod set up in front of me. Uh, I've had the car clean now so there's no bugs so that's good. Um, yeah so I suppose I'll just get everything out of the boot, show you what you need to install it and then uh, get on with the time lapse of installing it. Enjoy! Alright, so the splitter there, uh, these are what come with the splitter, you get nuts and bolts, which I'm not going to use, I'm going to be using some self tappers, you get some splitter rods, mine have come in black, not silver, so that's good, uh, you get some spacers, which I don't think you need for this car, so I'm not going to use them, and the best part about it all is you get a free sticker, everybody loves a free sticker. So you'll need drills, socket set, um, don't need ramps, and a flathead screwdriver. So uh, let's get into it. moments later Alright, so I've got the bumper upside down now. I'm going to put the splitter on and try get it as equal on each side so it doesn't look stupid. Uh, it's going to be a bit hard with it being upside down, but I've done it with my other ones. I'm sure I can do it with this one, it'll be fine. Um, like I said, I'm using self tappers because with the bumper, there's not much room to get underneath. As you can see, I've already got loads of holes from my last two splitters and where I scrape it constantly all the way along there but uh, yeah that there as you can see there's not much room so if I was to drill through and put a bolt in there I wouldn't really be able to get it on especially since some of the bolts that come with it look quite long so I think self tappers is going to be the way forward for this if you want to know what size I've got they are if it focuses there you go 
8 by 3 quarter inch flange heads just so they fit flat with the splitter yeah hopefully these work if not then uh i've not got a clue what i'm gonna do so let's get to it Right, so I've put uh, two self-tappers in there and same on the other side. So I'm going to flip it over, see if it looks okay. And if not, then I have not got a clue what I'm going to do. But I feel like it should be fine. Like, everything there looks the same as it does at this side. Kind of. I mean, <laughs> it's not going to be perfect, but oh well. Let's see what it looks like. And this is why you get yourself a girlfriend. I think it looks okay. Well, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think I've done all right there, or or not? Personally, I think it looks okay. But well, it's screwed down now, so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I'm gonna attach the splitter rods in obviously the holes they provide and then I've got drilled some holes here where my uh, CM composite rods went so hopefully they'll line up nicely so yeah uh, just got the problem about the middle to fix now and then put the bumper back on so yeah right so what I've done is obviously I've used the long bolts that came with it and I've drilled through it's not gonna focus because it's dark but uh, I've drilled through both the bottom valance thing and the actual bumper you see it's poking through there and then put a bolt right in the middle again you can't tell because it won't focus but yeah I basically uh, bodged it seems sturdy enough suppose she helped a little bit Maybe. Just a, just a tiny bit. Yes, I did it all for love. Oh. They say fools believe in it. So I guess I'm one of them Don't you know I fell for fools Gold I fell for fools Gold What did I know? What did I know? I fell for fools Right, so I've put the uh, splitter, rod, uh, splitter rods on now, however, I forgot to do it when the bumper was off, so these top bits are not in properly, they're just pushed into the holes I already had drilled. But, um, yeah, I'll go to the other side, it looks a bit better. But yeah, it looks a lot better with the 
splitter and side skirts on now. I'm happy with how it looks to say it was, yeah, kind of half a bodge job. But my, uh, I might buy some more Supreme stickers and stick them on here. Um, I don't know whether to take that one off, like so I've got a big scrape there, so uh, I'll trip over my tripod and then, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm super happy with it. Looks pretty good. That looks okay. That's sexy. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's get the headlights on and then I'll probably put make an end to this uh, video. So. Alright guys, so, it's finally on, so that is how to not properly fit a splitter, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it, I know most of it was just time lapses, but let me know what you guys think, do you like it, do you not like it, personally it looks a lot better with the splitter on, it's not as big as what I was used to before, but I love it, so uh, I'm going to do a little edit, and thank you for watching like it if you like it subscribe press the bell to see my next videos i'm sorry this one was so late but i did try doing this the other day however i brought the wrong drill so i couldn't do it yeah like subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace